so I did walk right into the thrift store and there is a bunch of carts out. And I think I'm the only one in here. It is a cold morning outside. So I do want to take a quick look and see if, um, if I see anything in the bin since there's nobody back here. And I don't have to really compete with anyone. What is this? Walt Disney treasure chest a treasure chest um maybe coloring books or something it looks like it could be older i'm not exactly sure Ni yeah it is 1991 i'm gonna put it in the basket just because i don't know what it is and then we'll just we'll go ahead and we'll look through it in a little while but i did wanted to take a minute and check some of the bags these look like a bunch of like little squish uh squishmallows Oh, there's an old um, um, Arthur. I used to watch Arthur with the kids. That's cute. You know what? I'm going to toss this in. This might be an okay one, even though it's plush. And, you know, I don't do a lot of that, depending on if they're the older stuff, then it might just be okay. Um, I do see some books and stuff down here. But this one is mostly just random stuff. Nothing, um, nothing too crazy. So I'm going to keep um, looking through here and we'll uh, figure it out. Let's try this next one. I just want to check something real quick. All right. So we are going to go and see what's in here. Oh, that looks like some ribbons and stuff. And we have a clock. We do have some Nikes. These look like, are those cleats? Those, oh, those are cleats. Actually, these are, these look like they're brand new. Yep, they're brand new cleats. So we'll put those, we'll put those in the cart. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna take them, but brand new cleats are never bad. Um, oh, these are pretty. Look at how pretty those are. Ooh, I like those. These are in gr great shape. Oh, it looks like they did pull out the insole of that one. But for the price, that might not be bad at all. Look at how nice those are. Those are really clean. I don't know if there are men's or women, but I think I'll, I'll put those in. And then we'll come in, we'll see what else we have here. These Vasque are nice, but they're pretty worn. So I'm gonna leave that one right there. And I'll, oh, here's another pair of New Balance. These are black ones. Now there's something going on with those and I'm not sure what, so I think I'm gonna leave that one. We'll just go ahead and uh, leave that. And we'll just keep on looking. Oh, look at the cute little kid shoes. Those are cute. Um, so far, not so, not so much. This little trash can, I'm gonna put it over here too. forgot to check behind me to see if there was going to be any, um, any new, like, anything new up there, but it doesn't look like it. There's, so there's now people in the store too. These Calvin Kleins are nice, but I don't think they're, they're going to do much for me. So let's just keep looking through the rest of this. I do see the Converse. Those are kind of interesting. And... What are these right here? Nope, oh, there's nothing on those. So we'll just keep on. To oh, those are kind of cute. Those are like wedges, but I'm worried about the material on the back end of those. Oh, the Cole Hans are nice, but I don't know about the white, how I feel about the white. Oh, they're brand new though. You know what, maybe I will grab that. Looking through these. Oh, and here's another one. That one's different too. All right. What are those? The leather collection. These are like her cheese type of stuff. Oh, those are kind of cute. 
Those are kind of cute. They're seven. Those are nice. I'll put those in too. Mm. Jasmine. We are getting towards the bottom down there, so maybe we'll find some different stuff. Ah, oh, I don't know what those are. Oh, those are Kenzie's. What are these right here? Oh, those are Anne Klein's. dirty shoes in here today. Some of these are pretty dirty. Someone just came through and grabbed a bunch of toys out of that other bin. It looked like a bunch of old um, um, G.I. Joe type of stuff, which I know I, I do look at, but he, he was over there first, so. Okay, so I think we got some stuff off of there. Let's try it. We got big hometics massage. Oh. Well, I haven't seen this guy in a while. I know this is from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't know if it's any good, but I'll toss him in just in case because I know it's been it's been a while since that was out. I'll come back over here. Well that might be cute. That's interesting. Okay. We'll check to see if all the pieces are on that one. Uh, we've got a oh, Bob Ross puzzle. There you go. We do have some sketchers down here. Those are those are pretty clean, but I don't know how I feel about those. So we'll put those over here. And those are Skechers, too. All right. Oh, those are some weights. Those are heavy, too. Put those right there just to get them moved out. So this is just... Big boxes are pretty large. Some old books and stuff like that, but I don't think there's anything else there that I want. Gum, that's interesting. Had a strap at some point, I guess. Okay. There's some baby stuff down there. I can see that. And some craft and bead stuff. But no, I don't think anything of that stuff back in there. All right. I did put the stuff back. I think I'm gonna head down here because there's no one in these carts down here. I like, I still like my space when I'm working. So um, that's pretty. I like the colors on that. Oh, it's actually a Jacqueline Smith. Nice colors though. Okay. Oh, we do have some poster board here. I'm always good using this stuff. I don't know if I need any of the black, but I don't even know how much it is. Believe it or not, these, these poster boards at Michael's are pretty expensive. I might grab it just to bring it home, just in case. I always have use for those things. We've got some Linksys. I've got, there's, there's so many of these router type of things. I really should learn a little bit more about it, but I have a feeling that would be one of those items that would probably gets returned a lot. 
We got some purses. Oh, Etienne oh, Anya is gold, but it looks like it, the leather is coming off on the top up there, so we can't take something like that. There's a part of a Mitchie bag. Ooh, these purses are looking kind of beat up. Here's a Victoria's Secrets tote. I've actually sold this one before. Um, and it took a while to sell, so I think I'm going to pass on that. What about this? This is kind of interesting. Nope. It's funny when you see things that are kind of like, um, you know, different. But you're... I still wonder where you find some of these things because like I never see some of this stuff like this one is like a little straw purse I mean the quality isn't great on them but I mean somebody bought them obviously somebody bought them to be able to donate them but I have a feeling this is um what is this freeway one two three yeah that's I have a feeling that we're that this, this it's going to be the cheaper stuff in here. This might be a Vera Bradley, and it is, but they marked it up to fifteen dollars, and I'm not going to pay fifteen dollars for a used Vera Bradley. That's just too much. The um, the Vera Bradley it sells, but it does sit for a while. Just to give you a heads up on it, it it does unless it's something like really good and it's really cheap. It will sit. Bernini okay yeah I'm down at the bottom of this bin and we're not finding much yeah, I think I think that one's not gonna be a good bin for today but we do have some stuff over in here too let's take a look and see what we can see in in this bin I have to move the lampshades because they just they take up a lot of space and I can't see around them I do see the old, is this a cassette case or a DVD case? Now I know these old ones sell, people still like these old ones, um, but it's, it looks like it's missing some of the in, insides of it. And then, got a bunch of masks. Oops, somebody had some bookends. Those are some pretty heavy duty bookends right there. I can see. There is, whoops, sorry. Yeah, I think that's just gonna be a lot of um, that type of stuff. Let's, let's come over here and let's look at the toys on the wall because it's pretty organized over here. So let's see what they got over here. Doll of the Month. No, oh, that's one I've never seen. No ends. Fourteen, fourteen, ninety-eight. So you can make, I guess, all kinds of things like life-size things. That's kind of an interesting piece. It's a big box, though. Just in case you can't, you can't really maybe tell from, but it is. some water toys over there. I always look at the water toys because the old the old ones do really well. Okay. Let's see. This one is brand new. What is this? Boom box. Rewind the 80s and 90s. Interesting. Okay, I am back. I had a quick interruption, but there we go. We are back in back in order again. So we've got baby floats. Got some, got some little mid tiles. I mean, this would be fun if you have craft projects and stuff, but I can't take on any more craft projects because I'm I'm very good about bringing them home and never getting to them. So. I don't want to, uh, look at that, don't spill the beans. Oh, that, it's been a while since I've seen that little guy. 
fill the pot being being by one bean. Oh, that's great. I, I do love that. And they were the ones that made cootie. So how great is that? I wonder, I'm curious just when this, how old this box, how old this box is. Oh boy, that's an old one. 1967. You know what? I might just put this in and check because I don't know if it's complete in there. I think they probably have taped it up. I don't know, but we'll we'll look and find out. That's that's believe it or not, that's older than I am. So that's that's an oldie. All right. Now we're going to head down here to the books. I still haven't done the hard goods. I haven't done so they do throw like flatware in here um every once in a while i look through it but i, I really honestly never find anything um, worth holding on to in there but um, i do sometimes stop and look at those and i do um you know i look at the books just because i grab for myself once in a while they do put video games out here also um and then I'm always looking for like series and stuff like that, that like I'd want to see, but I don't think any of this is anything that I'd want to see. Um, you never know though. You never know what you're going to find. And I got some albums. So I don't see any video games, but you know what, what we can do is we can sneak by the, um, the expensive rack cause they do have, um, they do have stuff over here, but it's, it looks like it's really been depleted a lot. So I don't see much. I don't see much in here. Usually it's much fuller. So let's go and we'll look at the um, hard goods. So let's, go, let's go do that. They do have a bunch of clothes racks out. I mean, I know some of you love the clothes racks, but um, I still can't, yeah, can't wrap myself around it. So they do have a card over here, but this looks like it's all like the home goods and stuff. What is that? Chicken? chicken roasters and we'll come over here oh well we'll have to go a little farther down she's working on that one right there so we'll go a little farther down they've got like baskets and stuff so whoops i took that big old blackboard and now i am uh now i'm I'm wondering if that was a good idea because it's caught, it's caught on everything as I'm coming down the aisles. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some some cute uh, mugs or dishes, plates, or anything like that. All right. So I'm gonna look over here. What's that? Look at that looks like a Johnson's Brothers but it's not it's like a generic one it's not the actual um, brand we got some more mugs here oh so last time I was here it does look like somebody took the Mickey mug I'm glad somebody took the Mickey mug okay oh those are plastic <laughs> I thought those were glass for a second and they're not what is that one? Okay, that's a frozen mug. We've got bridges and stuff like that. Then there's all the, cl the clear glass. I do look at the little figurines, so you never know. There's like a finger vase. I think I have to have anything there. So let's stop and look at the shoes. All right. I feel like my eyes are slow today. Like it's taking me longer to, to catch up on, catch up on when I'm like looking at stuff. All right. What are these? Um, jelly pop i did see quite a few of these jelly pop they must have uh, the company must have jelly pop memory foams they must have dropped shoes off because i did see a couple pairs of those that look like they're almost brand new and so like, this is what i'm talking about when they put those inserts in there even though these shoes look absolutely fabulous Anytime I buy, anytime those inserts are in them and I try to take them out, they just, they just ruin the bottom of the shoes. So I don't do that anymore. 
Here's Boston Design Studios. Those are pink. There's Axiom, and those are in black. I bet you it was probably the same person because they're they look so much alike. I can tell they do have some um, nice. Those are Bass. These are Cecina. Um, I think I used to see this brand at Nordstrom's Rack and and maybe at some of the um, other other stores. And that pair that pair of naturalizers they they broke. Some boots. These are um, the, no, those are just like a generic, generic brand. Nothing great. Well, I didn't really grab too much. I got some interesting things. I have a feeling though a lot of this is probably just gonna go back. I don't think the value was was great. I have a feeling that. Um, the really good stuff is is probably going to come out a little bit later. That's kind of a nice looking pan, a copper chef pan, but I can see there's some damage on the the side stuff is coming. Oh, look at those wall sconces. Oh, they're plastic. I wouldn't have thought that was plastic. They're plastic. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a review of the stuff that we have. Figure out like what we're going to take and what we're going to leave behind. And then I'll get myself checked out. So I'll catch up with you in a few. All right, it's a little crowded in here again, but I did stop right in at the um, purses and I thought that was kind of cute. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, a brand or anything like that. I just thought it was kind of neat the way it is. So I'm gonna toss that in the cart. Um, I did stop at the rack at the front and I did find these coach um, riding boots in brown. The leather is very nice on these. I'm seriously hoping they're my size. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get lucky or not. Um, so I am, I am checking that right now because like I said, these are so nice. Uh, what are they? They are, uh, they are my size. Okay. Well, we'll see. Sometimes with the calf, generally if the calf is only seven inches at the top, I can't, I can't zip them up. I don't know why, but um, for some reasons they make the calves kind of small and then you can't, you can't zip. So hopefully, hopefully those will be okay. Now I don't know. Oh, here's a mirror bag, but this one's kind of worn. I, I would normally buy the mirror bag. Um, but this one, this one's a little more worn than I think that I like. And they did mark it up, even though it's nice. I did just recently sell one of those. I, I think I'm going to leave that one behind and we'll just come down here. We'll keep looking down here. So it doesn't look like they have put, oh, there's a Betsy Johnson. Her, her stuff can do okay, but um, not not always. Some of these have been sitting here, just have been sitting here a long time. Some of these bags that haven't moved at all. Uh, hopefully they'll put out some new stuff today. That, oh, that's dirt. That's still dirty on the inside. I've seen that one before come down here and see if there's anything on the bottom down here no these aren't these aren't that great down here either well maybe they'll bring out another cart it, I think it's I think that's a possibility I did stop and look over here at this cart I thought this purse was really pretty but you can see there's like a lot of damage on it and this one this one just doesn't feel very good to me so um, so since there's no one over here, we'll, we'll see if there's anything good in here. They do have a couple of wallets. J and Y. This one looks a little, uh, that's not bad, but I don't think that's my favorite. We have some Vans. We have some Pumas. I don't know what these are. What are these? And I, I'm not really sure if they're men's or if they're women's. Look at the bottoms. They're very European looking. Uh, Subo? maybe they did mark them up a little but they're they're just a 
very soft leather. I'm not even sure how they would get put on. I, I think they would be men's, I'm, but I'm not really, you know, maybe I should put these into the card and check just because they are a very, the leather is top notch on these. It's so like butter soft. Um, I just have some shoes down here. Let me see, what are these? Oh, you know what? We will take, we will take the Eileen Fishers. Oh yeah, we'll take those. Um, the, the original price on those was uh, $99.97. So we will take the little Eileen Fishers. Um, what else is in here? J. Adams. These are really nice looking too, but I don't know if those feel like they're leather to me or not. I don't think so. We have a little Victoria's Secrets. So I think I got what I wanted out of there. All right, let's go ahead and start right here. I did see a pair of boots down there, but what are these? These are, oh, these are Vasque. Okay, so those are Vasques. So we'll just, we'll kind of run up and down the shoe aisles. I feel like they, they haven't been putting out as much and it looks like they really need to because it's pretty empty over here. So that means that they probably will bring out some stuff later because definitely the shelves, the shelves could use it. So I would definitely say that they are um, gonna be putting some stuff out, which is really great. <clears throat> now what are these? Not sure what those are, but those aren't my my favorites. I'm gonna come over here on the end of this one too. See if there's anything that I have to have. No, I don't. I don't think so. So let's come over here. I do expect to start seeing more and more sandals coming out. Um, it's usually the case. I mean, it's still it's still real cold here, so or you know pretty cold. So I know it'll be a little bit, but I will expect to start seeing the sandals come out. Okay. Look at the spikes. Look at those. Oh, these are borns. These are kind of cute. I'm, my concern is the the um, ribbon is looking a little worn. And I don't really want that ribbon breaking off on me, so I think we'll leave those. Those are a pair of Nicole's. What are these? Oh, these are Ellen DeGeneres shoes. I didn't know that she had her own shoe line. Okay. So I guess what are these right here? These are Christian Serianos for Payless, okay. Um, kind of looking for the unique, the unique things. Come over here and see what we can find. All right. There's some Michael Michael Kors up there, but I know those aren't great. And those box, those box don't look, they look a little stretched out. Well, I guess it's looking like the well, shoe days, looking like it's gonna be for me. But oh, you know, let's, we'll come over here in the men's and take a look and see what we can find over here. Oh, I like those. Oh, these are some Cole Grands. Those are nice. These are actually the leather ones. You know what, I might take those. Those are a nice looking one. Put those in the cart. Okay. Some new balances, what about these? 
dogs. All right, let's go to the back. <laughs> yeah, I make donuts too. Which is... It felt very crowded back there with people reaching around me. And so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna head back here and see if I can find um, more of like the, car the carts and stuff like that. This Royal Dalton. Oh, how cute is that? That's really cute. I'm gonna put that in the cart. I like those. I mean, look at those. They're like little cheese spread knives. Look at there's ones like a little Scotty dog, and those are very um, modern looking, and I love that. So let me see what this stuff is. There's one of those new waves. Those used to be popular, but yeah. What about these um, Snoopy mugs? These definitely look like old ones. So I'm gonna put that in the cart too, cause that definitely looks like an older one. I'm gonna take that one too. Yeah, those are older ones. So we'll go ahead and we'll head back here. Maybe there'll be another cart. Like I said, I, I do think they're gonna start coming out with carts. Okay. Oh, that's a Ray Dunn sushi kit. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it looks like it's new. So I'm gonna stick that right there. The wonderful 30s. Um, I do buy albums once in a while, so I hope you guys can see them. I was trying to go through them without knocking them all out, but um, I do buy albums once in a while. No, nope, I don't think that's one I'm gonna like. Got some dinosaur. We have some little dishes here. What are these? Let me see. All those are cute, but I'm not gonna do a bunch of little tiny dishes. They do have some, um, those are pretty. Those are some of those salad sets. The old ones. I don't know if you can see in that box. They used to sell these as like little kits, um, little snack kits for dinner parties. And it's nice. It's still in its box and everything, but that's not, not something I think I want to get into. I, I see quite a few of those, but let's hit this last one and see what we can find in here. Got a nice robe. And this kind of has an iridescent jade look to it, Victoria China. It's it's a pretty pattern. Um, um, and that one's plastic. This is kind of interesting. What is this? I know those colors may not look great, but I'm curious of who it is. Accent Genuine Stone China. Oven to fridge, this is Japan. Very 70s looking with the mustard and the orange. Um, but I'm not, ag I'm not against that. Okay, look at these little things down here. Now, what do we have back here? Southern Living, an organizer. Okay, what's in this? You know, whenever I see a box here, I always know that I've got to open up Lincoln Mercury. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's like a compass clock, or it's like a timepiece. Must have been a giveaway for them, but it looks like it's missing something, so I'm gonna put that back too. And what about this? Waist, oh, that's an old one, isn't it? A money belt, <laughs> okay. And then this one is belt, what's this? I don't think this is even, oh, it's kind of, kind of like a holder of some kind. Oh, we didn't get much out of there. Come over here. We can look at this one over here. He doesn't mind if we knock him out of the way. He's not that picky. Oh, that's pretty though. What is this one? Is that a decanter? Yeah, it's a decanter of some kind. I think it's marble. 
Is it marble or is it milk glass? No, it's not, I don't think it's, well, it's glass. Hmm? It's glass, I thought it yeah, was yeah, marble. Yeah, yeah, nope. yeah, no, interesting. Yeah, not what I want, but it is interesting. Yes. And just pillows. They go over everything anymore, to be honest. That's the problem, you know, they're sitting on the, on the internet, so it's, it's really not what it was. It's just No, but they the do, remnants. they, they do miss a lot, though, They too. miss some, but I don't think, not what they used to. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. <laughs> I would agree. Yeah. Now, it's, ever since they, first they had the one website, now they've got another website. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a cute one. Look like a candy cane. Holiday lane, but it's got a big chip on the bottom. You know, I'm looking for my, my fancy. Looking for my fancy. Fancy mugs. Oh, the, mug, the mugs are pretty clean. Oh, that one's cute though. Look how cute that is. Who makes that? Clover Cottage. Oh, that's adorable. With all the puppies, all the St. Patrick's Day. Oh, but this is actually a TJ Maxx mug. That's cute though. That one is cute. I'm not a coffee drinker though, so. But it was, that one is very cute. All right, let's go down here and see. The dishes and stuff, they still, those are still sitting there. I'm surprised nobody's grabbed those, but I mean, there's not a lot of value, but I would think somebody would grab them because they're just, they'd be fun to use. Um, okay. We got some plates and stuff, but you know what? I think I'm gonna get off this aisle. I, I feel like I wanna look at other stuff and I did choose a busy time to come in here. So that means I'm gonna have to just be okay with lots Lots of people. So let's go over here and look. We got them. See if there's any any holiday stuff to look at over here. These are cute. We got the little nativity cards. Those are really cute. I, I don't know this would be like a Kohl's. So I don't think that's something I'm gonna grab. But what I am gonna look for is I do like the little figurines. Once in a while you'll find a good one in here, but these all look like, like Homco's and that's kind of a precious moment, but that might be a, even a knockoff. Tis the season. Oh, wait, maybe I found a candle. Let me see. Oh, that smells nice. Tis, I might take that one with me for $3.99. I think I'm gonna take that home doesn't mean it's it's going anywhere but I like the smell of it so so it'll just go home look at these big star Starbucks Starbucks mugs yeah I can get it I can get my words out today that's neat now here's a game of I see this one is brand new but they're already asking $5.99 for it brand new I, I know that one's not a you know that one you can get pretty cheap especially at Christmas time I know they They'll put the games and stuff on sale. I did catch, my eye did catch this. I thought this was really cute. Who is this made by? To Grandma, Merry Christmas. Oh, it has the kids' names on it. Oh, look at that. It's got the kids' pictures and names. That is a sweet gift. You don't, you don't see people making things like that anymore. That's really precious. Of course, your names, if your, marks, your names are Mark, Julie, and Laura, you'd probably be doing really good, but I do like that. That's very sweet. Okay, so now we're just gonna keep on moving down the Christmas aisle. You know, I feel like I am kind of dodging people in here. Let's see if we see anything down there. Light flurries. I don't think they added anything over here. I grabbed some of those other, I grabbed the really nice trinket boxes the other day. So I think we'll, we'll just leave those where they're at. I feel like I'm gonna make my way back down over here.
Oh, here's one. We didn't check that. We didn't see this one. So let's see what's in this one. <clears throat> nope, these look like they're used. I have, um, oh, well, look at the hokas. Let's see if the hokas are in good shape or not. Sorry, hokas are generally pretty good. Um, I definitely would say these are men's and oh, they're ripped in the back, darn it. Well, that's why I told you the Brooks and the Hokas, they, they tend to want to be, they tend to want to rip on the insides, which is never good. And these are just some old albums. Whoops, the Carpenters Christmas album and stuff like that. I do look for certain things when I am looking at those type of things, so. But um, usually like anything Beatles or rock and roll stuff, that stuff does pretty good. What is this? Convert your old film to digital. Interesting, but it's been open, so I'm not sure if that would be any good. So I think we'll have to just leave that one. Well, how about down here? I saw a couple of Halloween things and we got a big old turkey. I feel like I'm kind of limited on the stuff that I'm looking at today. I definitely think they need to put out another um, another um, rack. I did go and look at the, the front and that's where I grabbed the boot set. But um, that was really all I found was the boots. You know what we can do? We can go over here and check at the wallets and things and see, see if they put, dumped anything over here in the wallets. seen those already. Some sketch. It looks like they've added some shoes. Here's this is a little Vera Bradley, but I don't. This this generally isn't going to be worth the four dollars. I will sometimes get it if it's the bigger one, but the, I don't think the little one's going to do it. So we'll come over here. Yeah. We'll look at this over here. I'm sorry. Honey. Oh no, no, not at all. These are cute. These new balances are cute, but that much, this material will never clean up, so we can't we can't do that. That was a fabric front, like one of those polyester ones, and I know I would never be able to get that clean. It's cute hats. We are getting getting out of that time of year, though. Let me see if we find anything over here. Well, not much on that. These are interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a heel bed like that. Um, they're not expensive. I can tell that they're they're not, you know, a quality made. I've just never seen anything that looks quite like that. Those are some Asics down there. What are these? Oh, these are actually Clarks. Oops, see, there I went, I dropped something. Those Clarks are quite interesting. I don't know, um, if they have both of the laces for those though. Well, wait, there's two pairs. Oh, look at, check that out. That is interesting. So here's the blue pair. Those are actually pretty interesting. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take the blue pair. And then there's the green pair. But I'm, I'm missing one of these fancy lace. That's just kind of, kind of what I liked about the green pair was the, the fancy laces. <laughs> size are they? Eights. Eights. That's a really nice looking shoot though, honestly. Like I said, I'm kind of bummed though because the laces are what kind of makes that shoe for me. And this wouldn't look good with a pair of white laces. 
So I kind of feel like I don't want them because they don't have the right laces. Whereas the blue ones, the blue ones had the right laces on them. But they look like they're different. Well, here. They look like they're different. Oh, yeah. This one's a nine and a half. Interesting. That is interesting. Well, I'm going to do a quick look because the lace is my... Oh, look at these new balances. These are really cute, too. Dinah Soft. Sorry, I know I'm about to knock over everything off that shelf, which is pretty normal for me. So these might look like they're dirty, but they're not as dirty as you think. They have kind of a speckled, speckled bottom. But I think I'm going to leave those behind. I think the darker, the darker ones were a much better choice. Here's another pair. No, those are cat. Those are these are cat and Jack. I thought that they might be just, just like the other ones. Well, I don't feel like I grabbed very much. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and see if, um, look for damage and check all my items and see if there's anything else that like I need to take a look at. These are, those are Skechers. What are these up here? Oh, I think these are Tommy Bahama. Those are okay. Those are okay, but they're not my, not my favorite. Here's a pair of free birds. I mean, sorry, all birds. These are a size eight. Those aren't bad, but they probably would have to be washed. Free, I mean, all birds make a, they do make a nice shoe. They, they're hard to tell, but they kind of have a wedge and on the inside. So it's, it's got a good loft on it. Like they don't, you don't sit, these don't, your foot doesn't sit on the ground in these. You have a, you have a good loft on them. You know what? I might take those too. I, they, these might be okay. So we'll put those. We'll put those in too. And we'll uh, we'll just take a little look and see if any of those are gonna be good. I just want to do one more one more looksy pie up here to see if there's anything that I I missed. I have a feeling if I if I take long enough looking that there's going to be another cart coming out. So maybe that's just what I'll do. Okay, I'm going to take a look at my items. I'll come back, let you know what I, uh, what I took with me, and I'll see you all soon. Hi, I wanted to do a quick recap of the things I got. Since I only got two items at the first store, I decided I'm just going to group both of my thrift stores together today. Um, I do plan on keeping the little pants. I just love the little hummingbird. Uh, I did get a pair of Nike. I believe they're either lacrosse shoes, but I believe they're a turf shoe, um, the AstroTurf. Uh, I, so I have to figure out what, but they're they're pretty much brand new. Same thing with the Cole Haan, um, you know, brand new. Um, and then the Eileen Fisher's brand new. Um, those were from the, the second thrift store. I did get a beautiful pair of coach boots. These, the leather is so nice on that. And this purse also is actually coach. It was actually pretty clean, just needs a little wipe up. Um, I love that color, that taupe color. So you never know, I might... I might end up keeping that. Who knows? I did get a um, quite a few, you know, kind of high end, more you know, high end pieces at the the second thrift store. So you know, I spent twenty dollars on the purse. I think I spent fifteen on the boots. So you know, all in all, I was out of the second thrift store for like fifty bucks, and then the first uh, thrift store for sixteen. So I spent a total of sixty six dollars today. Um, you know. I really don't have any idea on value of some of these things. I just bought them because the quality, it was good and they were so clean. Um, and like I said, I am keeping the little um, capris for myself because I just, I love that embroidery on it. So all in all, $66 and you know, it was a real quick trip for me. And once again, I appreciate all of you for watching and supporting the channel. Um, I love your comments. I love speaking to you. Um, for those of you that haven't, please subscribe. Um, that would be really helpful. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.
Thank you.